Hello all, this is D-Swank. I am in Space Engineers. And what you see before you is a slight example of the uh, firepower of my new ship. At slightly more than 10 kilometer range, um, I have not had luck hitting the shuttle as much as I'd hoped, but let me uh, switch back to the body, my body. I am having some slight issues with um, the turret hitting uh, the ship. I am actually very lucky that it didn't do some serious damage to thrusters and things like that, and I probably almost got killed there. Um, I've been doing some updates to the ship, um, but I've kind of stalled at the moment due to the fact that I still have a huge amount of uranium to process. Let me fly in here, fly in here. All of my uranium is in the, re uh, the refineries, but let me O R or okay as you can see I have a lot of uranium and it's all getting processed at the moment so I also have installed some more powerful jump drives which are taking a bit to charge and I've made a couple of jumps, but, and you can see we're fairly far away from uh, the start. Um, as you can see, I've also installed three of the big turrets down here. Uh, I have the two turrets up there where uh, I've... I'm kind of surprised... Okay, there we go. They're firing away. Um, I may have to pull the uh, engagement range back some just because uh, the distance that I can attack at is could be causing some lag issues, but eh, I'm fine with it for now. Uh, I've also upped my graphics to medium, so I have some weird bugs here, okay, alright, yeah, weird texture bugs in the glass, um, let's go with that. and I'll show you what I've done so far, and then I'll go back out and we'll discuss what, uh, what I've got left to do. Well, first off, uh, run some glass in between the batteries, and as you can see, the batteries are still there. after that last week. I've been here for some time. Uh, let's see. And go up. I, I uh, got a little bit to show down in the very bottom, but we'll get to that. Uh, I have placed uh, modules onto the uh, shield generators. also have glass sealing off the uh, power column here. Um, nothing much to show down below uh, at the moment. We'll get to that. Um, I'll actually fly down there from outside because it's my hair faster that way. Um, ah, I wanted just that. Shift tab. Spit insanely! But yes, uh, come on. Up here, I found... This whole deck kind of had this open area back here. 
So I put these rooms in. I don't know what I'd use them for right now. Um, we have air vent back here and some cryopods. Uh, more than I'm going to use at the moment. Uh, upstairs. This is how I found the that area. I've also opened up the upstairs section somewhat. So it's fairly open now. And when we go, I've done one modification to the bridge that I like a lot. Um, that was an experiment down there that I haven't cleaned up yet. Uh, I've added these on the sides, which I kind of like the way that looks. But this, I got rid of the seat there, but I have this now. I can look around. And I really like this. This I like a lot. So. And I kind of filled in a little bit, gave it a little more me personality. Um, and let's keep going. Now, one of the things I've been contemplating. And I'm thinking of leaving that for the end of this. Um, or before I cut to the, um, uh, the end. So, is um, talking about readjusting the hangar space. But, oh yeah. Um, the top command area on these. I replaced the doors with sliding doors. So they have the potential for pressurization now um, and let's keep going forward uh -huh. and down here I haven't finished cleaning up here which I probably should but uh, I haven't yet uh, we'll go in the front I'm also thinking about taking some of the uh, ore detectors off of this, so... Let's go inside, please. Alright, door should close any second now. Ah, okay, I hit the button before I want it started closing. Okay, so, we're in here. You'll notice I have a conveyor down. Let me through. Down here, I haven't done a huge amount. I set the, uh, well, nothing new there. But here we have walkway down, doors, and kind of the captain's quarters. And I love this view outside. Um, I'm assuming that this was the captain's quarters in the original build of that ship, so. And I haven't fixed this mess yet. There's still stairs stuck to the roof. So, jump, 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 jump. And the back is still uh, not... It hasn't really changed, so yay. Now we're going to go up here. I'll show off the... Um, the new jump drive location and that I am waiting uh, for the uranium to get processed for a few more modifications. Um, base of the jump drives, that one's still charging, uh, they barely fit in here and I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of the piping here and readjust to fit a fourth one in. I don't think I'll be able to fit six in total, but I'm going to need to remove these refineries before I'm able to do that, and that's going to take... I am i don't want to remove these refineries until after the uh, uranium is processed. 
and tying into not wanting to remove refineries until after the uranium is processed is um, kind of my plan for this ship. Uh, I'm or the the side modules, the five H's. I'm thinking about sealing up the hangar decks because they're too small for what I really want to use them for, and just turning it the entire ship into a mounting areas or the 5H cruisers into mounting areas for weaponry. So there's going to be just piping and all sorts of nastiness through that. Please tell me you're not shooting anymore. Yeah. Okay, so I've also got to come over here, repair this, which is going to be... that's irksome. Um, so I think like six or seven shots from that cannon took out my shields. But what I want to do is this, from about where this angle is, up to, well basically, yeah, um, from where this is, here, all the way up to, uh, here. So this would be the, uh, this heavy armor here, uh, right along this line, would be the top. Turn this into a hanger. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure that's bigger than the airtight hanger doors, so I'd kind of center that. Um, but I'd have, well, I'd center it based on from down here. And as you can see, through here, if I cut right this area, put the airtight hangar door here, and then went through and cut out a lot of this refinery, storage things, stuff like that, I'd have a huge amount of space. I'd open it up because this area above me, I'd have storage space. Um, behind this, there's quite a bit of storage space back behind this wall. So basically turn this entire thing into a hollowed out hangar. Um, and I'd leave this area down here not a hangar. This would stay how it is because I really do like this, just the way it looks. So uh, there's that, and yeah. So uh, that's kind of my plan for the future. But most of that plan has to wait until um, the refineries are done processing and as you can see it's gonna take a while because I, mean, I have probably I'm down to somewhere around well let's see that's 200 200 200 200 200 yeah I'd say I'd, I'm still at a well I mean these both have a million um, kilograms of uranium in them. So I probably have three million kilograms of uranium that I have to process. So, um, yeah, I, I, it's going to take a while. So uh, I'm going to let the game run. And then I'll catch back up and talk about or when I'm uh, starting to deconstruct this area. So, be back in a bit. Alright all, I'm back. Um, I had a little bit of a um, interesting trip. While I've been waiting, I repaired and started refitting 
uh, the runner here. Um, and I just went over and raided, well, somewhere behind me is a ship. Well, I'm gonna, since I already took everything I want from it. No, uh, no, no. That's my base ship, this ship. As you can see, I set everything on fire. I guess, ooh, let's slow down. And I, f I came in from behind. I shot the uh, the turrets. Docked on right back here. I hit one of the turrets with the ship. I ground in. Jacked the uh, reactor. And yeah, so I took care of it. Um, Okay, next. Who want to remove you? And we're going to clean up the mess that is with that. Okay, F6. And we're back here about needing to slow down. Something I realized on that run, however, my antenna on my big ship is not um, broadcasting at uh, 50 kilometers or whatever. Um, it's less than 10. So I need to fix that. Because out as far as away as I was, it was a little... Um, when I, I realized I don't know where my ship is, I was a little scared. Um, though nothing... Come on. Not this crap again. Uh, I have shields on both. So hopefully we just ricochet off of each other. But anyway, um, I'm still refining, refining, and most of the day has gone by. Um, I haven't really done much. I've installed another jump drive. Um, I left the machine running while d dealing with dim dinner and several other things, uh, the game running, and I am about halfway through all that uranium. So... I've got a lot of work ahead of me, um, well, a lot of just idle time ahead of me in the game at the moment, waiting till the uranium is finished. So... Ooh. Keep bumping things. But since everybody has shields, that's not as painful. Alright. Come down. Dock. Why? Everything off. And we can close. Hangar doors. Yay! For now, that hangar door will stay closed. Uh, never finished that, but that's something I'm having to wait on. I want to have kind of a walkway up down path here in glass, but I've got to finish the stuff inside to get to that point. <gasps> Ooh, dinner's not settling well. But let's fly around through here. Not down there, up here. Um, yeah, I've already talked about sealing those. Um, I've built a few more items. And <clears throat> I will quickly cut to that part. Alright. Um, 
I added three more capacitors. Ooh, and I left some metal there. Hmm. Hopefully it'll go away when we jump. Speaking of jumping, I added our fourth jump drive. So we've got a long distance that we can jump. Um, I've added some processing stuff to both of these. And as you can see, we're cranking through uranium at the moment. Or Okay. Um, well, we're getting pretty close. We've got some refineries that still have quite a bit in them. But we're getting close to being done. After the light, it's been over four hours. Probably closer to six of me just letting the game run. So, that's taken forever. Um, so, okay, yeah, we can leave that door there. Uh, that's to my timer room. Uh, as you also have noticed, I have glass. I glassed this side. Put glass up there, I didn't glass it uh, in space jargon of burning a planet. Um, and we're going to go all the way down below. I haven't done anything here. Haven't done any work on the prepping for the hangar bay at the... Uh, and the bottom just because I'm waiting for uh, to figure that part out till I'm uh, have all my uranium processed uh, I I have a mod um, that adds some more pirate ships and that's why I reworked the uh, uh, the runner because I actually want to hunt down a couple of these other pirate ships um, just interesting that I want one of them the cargo ship as a um, similar to the mining ship uh, the drill ship use it at um, as something that will let me uh, transport goods or goodies so and as you saw when I cycled through the um, nearby ships I don't have, uh, haven't found anything yet. Um, so, what I thought would be good, also I have my, the ship, I have so much uranium that it doesn't know what to think. Um, and if I see one of the, the pirate ships that I've been talking about, I will, um, That is interesting. Uh, oh, I don't. I know what's going on. My antenna. Uh, no, my radar. I can up you, and we should get a lot more signals back. Yay! That's what was going on. I rebuilt my uh, radar, so. But anyway, uh, let's... And I also repaired the gun damage all down here. It did some damage on the back side as well. Um, so, but anyway. Um, itchy nose, please go away. But we're going to go ahead and jump. And what's impressive is the distance that I can jump now. Which is a fair amount. So... Uh, yes, let's jump. And as you can see, I'm a little overloaded at the time, uh, power-wise. I, once all jump drives need to be charged, I need twice the power that I actually have available. So, yes. That, that is an issue. There's no way you can deny that that's an issue. However, I thought I saw a ship behind me. Uh, massive asteroids, huge asteroids. Nope. I misread that. So, um, 
At least I'm pretty sure I misread that. Yes. I think I was picking up one of my small ships that I have in the hangar. Uh, so yeah. Not really looking for asteroids at the moment, but let's, uh... We'll turn these off. And in six minutes, those should be fully charged. And everything else is up and running. So, yay. Uh, also, I have Tiny Ship in that piston, which, surprisingly, I haven't taken off yet. I probably should. And put in a fixed port somewhere. It'd make more sense that way. But anyway, uh, we're a fair distance away from start. Um, and unfortunately nothing has happened because nothing interesting I had been drifting but that messes up my calculations for uh, fuel for some reason I drift at this speed and for some reason uh, my fuel use is always high. Oh, it's fixed itself. Yay! Okay, thank you for making a fool of me. But, uh, yeah. We're, uh, well, I've just kind of been drifting around, waiting for an event, waiting for a new, uh, one of the new pirate ships to show up. Something. Oh, I did put a remote control on this ship. So I can remote control it from anywhere. So that, that's something I'm happy about. Um, I also need to do the cuts through... Is it this side? Nope. Ow. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> I'm good at dying. But one I do want I want to keep this med bay and I'm considering getting rid of one of the hangar med bays. So. Alright, step to the side. Okay, that was strange. I can dump off my uranium in here. Oh yeah, I have a small nuclear reactor over here I can throw re uranium in. Woo! I think that's my only vanilla reactor on the ship itself now. Um, oh yeah... We're f moving, aren't we? Um, but yes, a uh, couple of things I need to do is I want... I need to finish off these cross pieces here put glass in them the actually build the one on the other side um, and then I've got to clean all this out so I've got a lot of work ahead of me and a lot of work well I'm wait a lot of stuff that I'm waiting on the uh, ship to finish uh, processing so uh, that I can uh, can do things because I'm I'm in a again hurry up and wait um, there like I said there's a uh, um, a ship that I want to catch but other than that I don't really have much going on uh, I did like the idea of turning this whole thing into a hangar bay, so that's 
probably going to happen. Uh, this area on the sides here, this will be a hangar, part of the hangar. Um, same on the other side. And I'm probably going to seal this up. I'm not sure. But who knows, this might become part of the hangar as well. So, yeah. With that, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. Uh, I know it wasn't much, and I will see you next time. Until then, buh bye bye